Hey, Drake. So this stream is going to be a test of uh, a new streaming program and new layouts. So, yeah, I kind of went into overhaul since last stream. Because uh, now I actually have alert boxes. So if I hit the follow button. Ta-da! So that should be fun. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, gonna need uh Uh, shoot, where's the... Scene selector, there we go. So now I actually have alerts on my streams. Yay! Uh... There we go. All right, gonna go ahead and switch over to uh, the GBA window. Up, oh, hold on, hold on. Didn't get in yet. Uh. Hello, uh, Drake Dragon with the three bits. Thank you for the bits. I still need to, like, properly set up the... Hmm. Not that. There we go. Okay. That should do it. Alright. Now, I can go ahead and fix this little issue. Uh... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
The return of silver, blue, red, and gold. The return of blood, red, red. Alright, so... Do -do -do. Need to play around with some settings. Uh, configure... Run mode. There we go. Alright. Welcome, travelers. I am told you carry crystals. Is this true? It is just as Lucan's prophecy foretold. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. Your Majesty, we cannot be certain that these are the warriors foretold by the prophecy. Yet they stand before us with the crystals. I cannot dismiss this as mere coincidence. Crystal Bearers, there is a task I would ask of you. Will you go forth and rescue my daughter, Sarah? Garland, a knight once in his majesty's service, has abducted Princess Sarah. I ask for your aid in the name of his majesty, the King of Cornelia. Garland has taken refuge in the Chaos Shrine, which lies to our north. Of course, we did attempt to save the princess ourselves, but Garland is the finest swordsman in the kingdom. We have none who can match him. I have heard that you wish to journey to the continent to our north. The bridge leading north was lost long ago, making passage impossible. If you can rescue Sarah, I will have the bridge rebuilt as a sign of my gratitude. Go now, warriors of light, and do not fail me. All right, gear up. All right, equipment. Uh, three knives and a staff. Uh, let's get a pair of nunchucks. Uh, two rapiers. All right. Nope. There we go. Uh, we'll need a couple of spells for our black mage. Uh, and our red mage. Uh... <clears throat> let's give... Let's give gold sleep. And then, I'll get a light spell. Uh, let's get Cure for... Let's get Cure for Red. Alright, that should do it. So... Okay, attack. Uh, attack. Meanwhile, I'm treating myself to one of those otter pops. I significantly prefer this version to the to the original NES version. Uh, 
Gonna be facing Knight in Armor, who in Dissidia sounds like Vegeta. Uh, I forget if he's voiced by Vegeta or Piccolo. Or don't they have the same voice actor now that I think about it? <laughs> Can't do it! I got chaos and gamut! Yay, level ups. Uh, oh, I forgot to grab some potions. I'm gonna head back and do that. All three are voiced by Chris Sabbath. Oh, Silver's dead. This is a great start, and this time it's of my own making. Alright, first stop, clinic. Lady, out of the way! Okay, now we're good to go. Ambush to do, do, do. All right, yay. Yeah, there's not really much to say at the beginning, since so I'm kind of just munching on popcorn. Yay! Speed up! Alright. <laughs> uh, cast some fire! Meanwhile, you have Rocky Road ice cream. I'm jealous. All 
right? Leather cap. Black Widow. Ow. <laughs> Why did it have to be spiders? Good question. How would you react if spiders that big came to our house? Came to your house? I'd burn the fucking place down. I'd be like, nope, get out of here with that shit. All right, let's see. I have three potions. The king will have no choice but to exchange the kingdom for his daughter's life. Cornelia will be mine. Who's there? Hm, the king's lapdogs. Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? Do you really dare think that you can cross swords with me? Very well. I, Garland, will cut you down to size. You know, now that I think about it, you know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see the origin story of Garland. Like, how he came to be. Uh, zappy zappy. <laughs> Garland, the easiest boss ever. I mean, he's only the first boss, so... What do you expect? There's a far easier boss in the series alone. Uh, trying to remember who you're talking about. Oh, it's a spoiler. Let's see, um... I haven't played this game, the game this boss is in. Uh... Fire. He's only seen the first hour of the game, actually. You talking, uh, Dragon Quest Eight? You. You've come to rescue me? I don't know how I can ever thank you. I am Sarah, Princess of Cornelia. That's the first time Garland has ever been defeated. You must allow me to show you my gratitude. Please accompany me to the castle, Cornelia. Oh, FFX. Hmm, <clears throat> excuse me. Thank you for returning my daughter to my side. There can be no doubt you are the Warriors of Light from Lucan's prophecy. You should hear the prophecy in its entirety, <clears throat> if I may. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. If they cannot gather the shards of light, the darkness will consume all. The four crystals will never shine again. Now I hear that a crystal can be found on the continent to our north. 
Restoring light to the crystals is our only hope of ridding the world of the monsters which plague it. I will have the bridge to the north rebuilt as promised. I pray that you succeed in restoring light to the four crystals and to the world. Alright, and if we talk to the Chancellor. The dancing girl in town knows many strange things. If you stray from your path, try talking to her. She may know something that would lead you back to your path. This loot has been entrusted to the princesses of Cornelia for many generations. When he abducted me, Garland took this loot as well. I want you to have it. It may aid you in your journey. We get the loot! Alright! And with that... Wanna know what I wonder? How this group came together. Yeah, it's fate and all that, but the finer details. Where did they come from? Where were their lives like before all this? Yeah! You know what? I kinda like to see a game of... Actually, wait! I think they had a game like that on the DS. Uh, wait, no, no. That might be just an entirely different storyline. I was thinking of uh, Final Fantasy, the Warriors of Light for the for the DS. Orders from His Majesty, lads. We're to do our build to fulfill Lucan's prophecy. What's this bridge got to do with the prophecy? The four warriors of light are here. They're here in Cornelia. All right. Let's see what we can pick up from. Let's see. Let's pick up some armor. Two stock in chainmail, uh, one stock in leather armor. Uh, all right, optimal. Uh, let's see what we can sell. Find it ironic that the man that threatened you to not threatened to knock you down got knocked down himself. That's what you get for being cocky. Uh, okay, let's get some more potions. Stocking up. Shoop. Oh, did I? I did not heal. I probably should have healed first. All right, uh, in that case... Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> if Garland had brains, he would know that metal armor and electricity from Riken do not mix. If he knew who I was, he would have known that in the first place. Alright, uh, that should be enough to spend the night at the end. Okay, now let's go for the bridge. So 
Surprised enemy. Then again, baddies are not valedictorians these days. True. And over the bridge we go. And so their quest began. The four warriors of light felt overwhelmed by the great task destiny had placed upon them. They did not know the true significance of the four crystals they held in their hands. The crystals that once Long ago, shone with a light so brilliant, the time for their journey had come. The time to cast off the veil of darkness and bring the world once more into the light. Screen. Okay, roll credits. <laughs> All right, lizard, give the lizard. That cutscene does have a good song. Bonk. this way Gigas worm if I remember right he's weak to fire so and there we go <laughs> the lizard wizard suddenly it sounds like Ren you know Stimpy I need Sparkle Okay, Provoca. Uh, let's see. Not gonna deal with Bicky the Pirate yet. Hmm. This town has level two spells. Unfortunately, I don't think any of them are multi-target yet. I don't think that happens until level three. Uh, and I can't afford it anyway. Why are the enemies here more diverse than in FGO? Because they thought it out. To be fair... Uh, actually, no, you do bring up a good point. Alright. I'm a ninja. Time to fight some pirates. You've got cannonballs of steel to be taken on the great pirate, Bicky. Kill all them, lads. Oi, oi, come. We'll make a bones go crunch. I don't know what kind of pirate accent that was supposed to be. Uh, for those who don't know the original game, uh, there is a palette swap of these guys that you meet out on the sea. Uh, 
in the original version, they're called um, Kizoki, Kaizoku, something like that. Uh, in this version, they're called Buccaneers. But they're a really good, easy farming uh, fodder for if you need some quick cash. What if one of the party members is female? How could, how would she have cannonballs of steel? She would, they'd just be on different parts of the body. That's my answer, anyway. Oh, sorry, young masters. I'll be making no more fuss, I swear. I wanted to take my ship for your troubles. Can you find it in your heart to forgive an old pirate? <laughs> if we are raiding with cannon boobs of steel, then we are 100% raiding Lucajin. Totally. Oh, by the way, we got a boat. Uh. All right, uh, let's equip. Actually, wait. Anything I can sell? Nope. Gonna do some gill grinding. Uh, I might. Depends on how lucky I'm finding those buccaneers. Uh, how am I on health? I could probably use a stop at the end. And actually, I might need to do a little gill grinding just so I can get uh, a spell or two from the shop. I don't think there are any ports to the north. Ship can only make landfall at a port, you know. Okay, get out of the way. Thank you. Stupid NPCs. Alright. Uh, <laughs> fight like men and women and women who dress like men. <laughs> uh, thunder. Cook the lizard. Zap the lizard. Why is he so quotable? Because that's goddamn Gilgamesh. I forgot if I mentioned this, John, but uh, I had the idea in my server. Uh, I have a channel specifically for the Fate series. And I made a joke about, okay, okay, imagine FGO and you summon Gilgamesh, but it's the Final Fantasy V version of Gilgamesh. You'd have Gil Gilgamesh be like, now we fight like men, and ladies, and ladies who dress like men. And then Astolfo's just like, uh, other way around for me. And then there's just silence. And then Gilgamesh is just like, that works too. <laughs> Gilgamesh doesn't judge. You don't get it? Okay, um... You know how Astolfo's a dude, but he cross-dresses? Well, the joke is, in Final Fantasy V, uh, one of the characters, Ferris, is a, she pulls a whole Mulan, and she's a girl that dresses as a guy. Alright, let's see what we can get from the magic shop. Okay, blizzard dark, temper slow. Uh, definitely gonna want temper.
Ah, uh, Ferris, Bart's his soon soon girlfriend. <laughs> uh, that's one way to put it. All right. Do do. Love the joke we made last time that Ferris and Butts just casually flirt, but Ferris is so much more rough around the edges than he is. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, hey! Speak of the devil! Uh, let's get some thunder. Thunder! Ba da 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 thunder. I was caught in the middle of a railroad track. I looked round and I knew there was no turning back. Butts has the choice of Ferris and Lena. Feel like he would go for Ferris. She, he seems the type. At the same time, Lena is a real a real sweetheart. She's a really nice girl. And there we go, an easy 600 gil. So now I can actually get some more magic from the shops. We know who he won't go for. <laughs> Not Creel, she's too young. If anything, she'd probably... If anything, they'd probably treat each other like siblings, like they know each other. Because, you know, Gallif. Gallif's this goofy old man who happens to be the king of the kingdom, and... You know, Creel just happens to be his granddaughter, so... Working together, I can imagine Butts and Creel just, you know... Eventually having a big brother-little sister relationship. Alright. And I'll also get Temper for Gold. We'll see where we go. Anything here in the weapon shop? Hammer. Hmm. I got a saber. When did I get that? Krill and Mid could work out. They seem about the same age. That's true. Hmm. I might want those later. I'll definitely want silence. For a certain boss. Alright, let's see if we go down here. Yep, heading towards the Dark Elf. Cobra! I got it out of a Buccaneer? Oh, I must have not noticed. I just don't know what we can do. Please help our prince. Oh, by the way, here lies Link. I can't believe Link is fucking dead. Yeah, the level 3 and level 4 spells here are kind of pricey. So we're going to have to save those for later. No one knows where Astos, the King of the Dark Elves, has gone. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. The prince has slept under Astos' curse for five years now. There must be some medicine that can rouse the sleeper, but where? Uh... Are you at least taking care of his, uh, bathroom tendencies? Are you making sure he's eating well? You know sleep eating is a thing, right? Whatever. Not gonna question it. I've heard rumors of a witch who can brew any potion you can imagine. Let's see, I think her name was Matoya. Alright. Uh, let's stop by the inn. And out we go. Goblin guard, and we surprise the enemy. Nice. Hmm. I'm going to want to conserve my magic. Nice. Have I been hanging around Nightingale? What makes you say that? I think I can afford a fire spell here. <laughs> she would say much the same, wouldn't she? There we go. All right, let's see if we go all the way up here, I believe. Before she uses outdated methods to cure the ailment in question. Oh, you got a splinter. Looks like we'll have to amputate. Uh, somehow I always forget about having to deal with this dungeon. Not more spiders. Get used to it. This particular dungeon is full of them. Spiders and skeletons. All the Halloween-y stuff. Oh, great. And uh, blue is poisoned. And I forgot to pack antidotes, I just realized. Great. Ugh. This is going to be fun. Oh, now... Oh, everybody's getting poisoned now. And there's also Nickelodeon Slime. Uh, fire on this one? There we go. 
Not dancing it. Getting the fuck out of here. You know what? Screw it. How that thing eventually became the flan enemies, I will never know. Good question! In fact, I think in this version of the game, uh, one version of the slime enemies is called uh, Black Flan. Uh, might want to flee for this one. Especially since Blue is about to die. Thank you. Uh, there we go. If FGO had nearly as m many enemies in this game. up. There we go. FGO is a mobile game, right? So not quite as much data space. That is true. I can't confirm. In consoles, yeah. Consoles definitely have more space to work with. Even back in the old days. Like, fun fact, did you know that a screenshot of the original Super Mario Bros. game holds more data than the ROM of the game itself? Oh, yeah, definitely running from this. Okay, uh, running. <laughs> Purple Shrek bot is worm pets. <laughs> Uh, items. Let's use that potion on blue since he needs it most. Oh, everybody's poisoned now. Alright, fuck it. There. Ah, uh, come on. Running. Running. Thank you, Red. Okay. At least this isn't like uh, Pokemon where there's a chance of everybody fainting if they're poisoned, so. Uh. Let's just go ahead and use antidotes on everybody. Are we about to have another A Party Perished moment? <laughs> Thankfully, no! All right, uh, gonna go rest at the inn, and then I'll get some more. Ugh. Man, that was rough. We didn't even get that far into the dungeon yet. get a better saber for red. I can get a dagger for gold. I suppose the crosshair would help for um, blue. Alright. Uh, 
equipment. No, no, no. I didn't want... I didn't want Silver to have the crosshair. Alright, uh... Last time it was a party of all monks? Uh, no, all black mages. We didn't do all monks. I mean, all monks would kind of be stupid. Uh, actually, I should probably get some armor, too. The last time I had a party wipe? Oh, yeah. Uh, can't get those. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. There we go. Uh, equipment. All right. That's right. That was where a party parish came from. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, I guess I'll do a little more grinding. A little more guild grinding. All right. Let's see. A, 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 and A, 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 A are all in heaven. Upset you forgot about them. I did. Because they were bad monks. <laughs> what makes me a good monk? If I was a bad monk, I wouldn't be sitting here discussing it with you now, would I? I'm a drunk Scottish Cyclops. There we go, gold's actually doing some decent damage now. I fear no man, but that thing scares me. Uh, hold on, let me check something real quick. Just need to remember... What did I set as select C? Okay. Alright, uh... I like how it's the red team talking about the red pyro, so he terrifies even more people he's working with. Because he's just that fucking insane. If I'm doing this right, I'm guessing that thing in this context is the Lost Belt. Oh no, it was just a TF2 reference. Oh, come on. I'm trying to unlock this certain thing. Uh. Nope. Ah, whatever. And also, why are there no enemies showing up? <laughs> TF2 meets Final Fantasy. <laughs> 
So, are we talking Final Fantasy but with TF2 characters, or are we talking TF2 but with Final Fantasy characters? <laughs> meet the Cloud, meet the Tifa, meet the Sabin. Scout would be Thief? Uh, I'm thinking Thief would probably be the Spy. Thief would probably be spy. Uh, <clears throat> uh, heavy would be knight. There, jeez, took for fucking ever. Uh, let's uh, zap him with thunder. Uh, let's see what else is there. Red Mage would probably be Engineer, because he sets up machines that heal, he sets up machines that attack. More say Spy would be Ninja or Assassin. Yeah, probably. Let's see. Uh... Medic, White Mage, obviously. Uh, soldier would be... Soldier would be a knight. Pyro would be black mage, no two ways about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. If Spy is Assassin or Ninja, then yeah, Scout would be Thief. <laughs> Sandwich would be a potion. <laughs> uh. Uh, Miss Pauling would probably be the, uh, Scholar. <clears throat> Miss Pauling would be Scholar, Demo Man would be Chemist. Who would win? An association of mages who are so obsessed with their D&D... &D hold on. Uh, an association of mages who are so obsessed with their D&D &D that they could not care of human lives. Or nine zany mercenaries with bad attitudes. <laughs> Heavy looks at his greatsword. Who touched Sasha? Who touched my sword? I just realized, talking about swords instead of guns, Heavy would totally be Gregor from Final uh, from uh, Fire Emblem Awakening. Like he's got the accent, he's got the build. He's got the broken English. Hashtag TFF2. <laughs> I am all for it. It's either hashtag TFF2 or, uh, or cannon boobs of steel. Come on, where are the Buccaneers? Thunder. Da 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 da
There we go. Just gonna have the TF2 cast as NPCs and on D&D again. Uh, I still like my uh, Fate series idea of having like D&D session campaigns for the Holy Grail Wars. Just like take any take any character that you want as any servant for a class. Like okay, Kukulain as a, a lancer, Artoria as a saber, yada yada yada. And then just play out the Holy Grail Wars. You could play out as the stories in the series went, or you can just make your own Holy Grail War. I seriously want a D&D campaign where you get to do that. Or heck, have a fate-themed uh, D&D campaign where you could bring in your own hero experience, like the gallant Jiraiya, or things like that. When I said that the Magi treat their... <laughs> when I said that the Magi treat their Grail Wars as a D&D session, I was joking. Yeah, I know, I know. Heavy's a barbarian, scout's a ranger, spy's a rogue... Soldier's a fighter, medic's a cleric, demo man's a sorcerer or something, pyro's a warlock, sniper's a gunfighter. Yeah, I can see that. Go to the end. Move out of the way. Thank you. All right, let's get a couple of uh, move. Let's get a couple of the level two spells. Uh, let's give him Blizzard. White magic shop. Let's get silence. We are going to want silence. It's going to pay off immensely in the long run. Any of you who have played this game before? You know who I'm talking about, likely. Uh, let's see. Yada yada. There we go. Do 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 do. Up here for Cornelia. Uh, Rick May. I was surprised to find out that um, he was also the voice of uh, Peppy Hare from Star Fox. So I was actually pretty bummed about that. Especially considering that I kind of uh, <clears throat> discovered the excitement that was Star Fox uh, a couple years ago. I got myself... Uh, I got myself a Retron 2 console, which allows me to play both classic NES and original uh, Super Nintendo games. 
And uh, one of the Super Nintendo games I got was the original Star Fox. Now, granted, Rick May didn't actually voice Peppy Hare until Star Fox 64, I think it was. But... Love the little animation the TF2 community did in honor of Rick May. I think I saw that. Yeah, I think I saw that. Like, it was beautiful, but at the same time, it was a bittersweet kind of beautiful. Which is the worst kind, because you love it, but it makes you sad. Yada yada. Speed up. Okay. Seriously though, help for Caldea from me it equals multiverse help. Yeah. Do 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 do. There we go. I get from the shop. Uh, I've got the weapons from the shop, so. Wait, Crossier actually does more damage than Saber? Hmm. Maybe in that case, I shouldn't have bothered getting the second Saber. That is kind of weird. All right, let's check armor. I've got those. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna come across any enemies that use gold needle, uh, that require gold needle yet. So, I should be good with what I've got. I'll grab a couple more antidotes, though, just in case. Oh yeah, I'll have to grind a little more money so that I can get a tent or two. Hold on, what? You're gonna do Artorial like that? Not that, Saber! Do you realize that one of her knights could use Knight of Owner and Eternal Arms Mastery to turn you into Shredded Mulch with that chain gun? That is true. Let's see. Given thought to maybe cosplaying Saber should I ever go home, but I don't know where I'd get the clothes. Um, I would recommend, uh... Joanne's uh, craft stores, if there is one in your area. If not, I think Michael's will do. But Joanne craft stores, they have like this huge section dedicated to fabrics. So I'd say definitely look there. Uh, that reminds me, I have like some materials I picked out so that I can. So specifically so that I can eventually make uh, a Silver Shinobi cosplay. I just need to actually get around to it. Screw it. There we go. Uh, let's use a fire on the Gigas Worm and a fire on the Ogre.
Also, the new emote thing is taking up a bit of the chat. Which new emote thing? Oh, that. I figured that was at the bottom of the... I figured that was at the bottom of the thing anyway, so... Uh, in that case, give me a second, let me fix that. Trying to, there we go. And transition. Boop. Wolves, watch out for Yamcha. <laughs> Funny enough, I have kind of been getting back into Dragon Ball Xenoverse lately. Uh, I have a Silver Shinobi and Nariko characters on there, of course, but I also have uh, two Saiyans named Onion and Queso. And a boo named, uh, Meringue. I did not think about that pun when I made her. Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> an unintentional pun. And that was, like, weeks ago when I made her. That was, like, two weeks ago. No, John, she was just making a Dragon Ball joke. I don't think she was talking about, uh, fate at all. Love how DBZ Kakarot makes fun of the Yamcha pose. <laughs> I know exactly the pose you're talking about. That's what makes it even funnier. Uh, let's see. Ah! Iron armor would have been a lifesaver, but oh well. I think I'll get a tent or two. Or three. Uh, Yamcha gets blown up by his two girlfriends who he's cheating on with each other. Oh no! And somehow makes them lesbians in the process. Damn, Yamcha. Only Yamcha could fuck up a relationship that badly. Yeah, no shit. Because fucking Yamcha. I would make a joke about Yamcha being killed, but, you know, Krillin has been killed more often, if I remember my Dragon Ball lore right. I mean, what was it? He died once in the original Dragon Ball series, and I think... Actually, wait, no, was it twice in the original Dragon Ball series? And then, uh, once died on, uh... Planet Namek fighting Frieza. Piccolo's died one more time than Krillin. Did he? Counted it. Krillin's died five times. Piccolo's died six times if you count Demon King Piccolo. Uh, I think Demon King Piccolo, you're referring to Piccolo Sr., yeah? If you're referring to Demon King Piccolo, then that's supposed to be his dad. So I wouldn't quite say that counts. It's technically a reincarnation thing, then I count it. In that case...
Dragon Ball is weird, man. All right, take two. Now let's actually properly go through the dungeon here. Okay, green slime. Uh, fire. And another fire. I forget if they're weak to specifically fire or just any magic. They just happen to resist physical a lot. Oop, didn't mean to click that. Uh, let's see. Shadow. I am a shadow, the true self. Yay! Hercule has never died in the main timeline. He's the only one who's never died. Which is funny, considering... You know, he's actually taken a hit from Cell and lived. Even if it was just a backhand. The fact that he survived a backhand from Cell, that speaks volumes. And from Kid Boo. I forgot about Kid Boo! Uh, admittedly, I kind of stopped. I kind of lost interest and stopped watching Dragon Ball Z after the Frieza saga. Because after that, it. It started to feel samey to me at the time, when I was a kid. Uh, let's see. A fire on the crawlers. Which again means Hercule has to be stronger than he lets on. To be fair, Hercule actually did punch his fist through a bus. Like, he's actually got some strength to it. He can punch his fist through a bus. And sold it. We're just delving into the topics we talked about in that video chat from last week. Oh shit, we are. <laughs> uh, magic. Uh, let's. Uh, fire. Uh, up here? Broadsword, nice. Let's see. Attack. Attack. No, actually, have him attack that. Uh, magic on fire. And magic on fire. If you can do that, you can fight a magic. Yamcha didn't get bit slapped by Cell, so against someone like Kaneth or Tokiomi, he's screwed. Yeah. Great ooze. Uh, thunder. Uh, the gray ooze seems to take physical. Seems to, uh. Oh. Gray ooze seems to resist fire. Ooh, Phoenix down. Could definitely use that. Green slime. Uh, surprise the enemy, I think I'll take the chance to flee. Let's make fun of Yamcha some more. Remember that time in D Dragon Ball Super where he almost died playing baseball? <laughs> I think, what was it? He was sliding to the base, and then he gets hit with the baseball, and it leaves a crater, and it's like... And everybody's like, hey, that pose looks familiar! Speed up.
Nope. Aha! Cottage. I don't see the point of having that chest open. Maybe just to show that it's empty? Some level ups, nice. It was a match between universes six and seven. Oh yeah. Uh, I think I'll run. Copper armlet, nice. Nothing in there. I think I can take him on. Blood bones. So what you're saying is he's dumber than a berserker. No, no, no. Berserkers tend to be, like, really intelligent. Yamcha's just shitty. This one. Okay. Uh, let's see. I am going to have to use some potions. He'd rather die than not score that point. A worthy sacrifice. All right, sort. Oh, when did I pick up a cottage? Cottage is basically a better tent. Swear to God, if that's a mimic in there. No, there's no mimic. It's something worse. Oh, I got lucky, actually. Uh, if I remember right, this particular space uh, is, a, is a set fight. Whenever you step on that space, you have to fight a group of Pisco Demons. They can number from, I think, as few as one to as many as six. Don't quote me on that, though. Uh, attack. Let's focus fire. Speaking of, I think they're weak to fire, if I remember right. Or maybe not. Maybe they just hit like a truck. <laughs> Cthulhu's! Cthulhu priests, to be exact. Yes! Uh, I believe the... I believe Dungeons and Dragons has Mind Flayers, if I remember right? There is a palette swap of this guy, these guys just straight up called Mind Flayers. We got the crown! Great ooze. Alright, anything in this one? 385 gil, nice. Gotta love Lovecraftian horrors. Funny, the other night I finished the, um, the Salem Singularity in Fate Grand Order, and yeah, that one has some Lovecraft themes. From the fact that they had a character named Randolph Carter in there. Just to, just for starters. All 
All right, we're on our way out. Uh, I forget. Is there actually anything this way? Nope. That's just a dead end. There might even be a village of mind flayers. Oh boy. Surprise the enemy. Nice. Okay. Speed up. There we go. Oh, okay. There's a set of stairs over there. I always forget about the set of stairs over here. Uh, is there... Oh. Skeletons. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to want uh, red to cast Cure, and I'm going to want uh, gold to cast Fire. There will be villages of friendly humanoid monsters in my game. I always like that. I like the idea... I'm, I'm a sucker for uh, Japanese mythos, and Japanese mythos has this thing where not all the yokai are bad. Some of them are actually friendly towards humans. And some of them are just pranksters, like uh, Roku Rokubi. They just uh, stretch their neck out and scare the crap out of people. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. 680 gil. There's gotta be something. Oop. <laughs> we may be the same as those guys who try to melt your brains, but we're not bad. I mean, unless you have a kink for it and you want us to melt your brains, because, I mean, apparently some people have a thing for that. I'm starting to feel like it's fetishizing the culture, but, I mean, hey, whatever gets your rocks off. <laughs> I wasn't going to make the joke. <laughs> I beat you to it. <laughs> I took the initiative. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, so Crawler just seems resistant to magic, like... Yeah, I guess physical damage is the only way to go for them. Nice crit, Blue! And there we go! Alright, let's see what else is here. 620 gil. We got a lot of money. 49.64. Woo! And up the stairs. one who likes brain melting. Not being on the receiving end. I'm not a fan of being on the receiving end. But yeah, if you've seen my DeviantArt gallery, <laughs> you know how it is with DeviantArt. People are into weird stuff there. Although oddly, my tastes are relatively tame. Uh, all right. Ten! Oh. Ghast. How ghastly. Yada. All right, up north we go. Speeding up. First servant is a noble from Hungary who dresses like she's gonna go for a BDSM session. <laughs> Carmilla, yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I guess what kind of won me over on Carmilla, like, 
Okay, yeah, she was the first servant I summoned in that game, and yeah, she hits like a truck, has an amazing amount of um, NP gain, so she builds her meter really quickly. You can miss me with that tame taste tomfoolery. Well, to be fair, it's not the BDSM themes that won me over for Carmilla. It, it was that one scene in her interlude where she was like, uh, I understand that you're upset at me for ruining your lives, but I'm the one responsible for it. Don't drag anybody else into this. <laughs> you fools fell right into my trap. I am Astos. I am king of the Dark Elves. It was other things, right? Well, given Carmilla, yeah. With the combined power of that crown and the crystal eye already in my possession, I shall be the true Elf King. It is useless to resist. I can take whatever I need by sheer force. All right. Uh, let's see if I can temper. If I temper, uh, silver can hit harder. Uh, actually, wait. Double temper. Yep, there we go. Silver's hitting harder already. I forget how high it can stack, though, now that I think about it. Uh, let's try tempering blue. Oh! Miss, miss, miss! Ah, he's dead. Alright, um... Items, Phoenix down. Uh, magic, temper. Temper blue. There we go! And with that, we get the Crystal Eye. And now we can defeat Napalm Man in Mega Man 5. Oh wait, wrong game. All right, uh, cottage. But yeah, Temper is a really good spell in this game. Yada yada yada. Seriously, what was with that weirdo? That was Astos. Apparently, in the universe of Final Fantasy 1, Dark Elves looked like that. Uh, fire. think of it, why doesn't FGO have any Dark Elves? For all I remember, the closest they have to anything elf-like is uh, 
Cersei and Medea with their pointy ears. Uh, let's see. Fire. levels. Alright. There we go. Back over to town. Got a shit ton of money. Got a shit ton of money. Okay, I believe this one was level 3 white magic. Okay, Cura. Uh, mm. I can give him no blaze or uh, Fira. Thundara and uh, hold would probably be better. Okay. Get a copper armlet. Gonna get an iron armor. All right. Uh, let's see what's in the other magic shops. Uh. Haste would be really good, but I can't afford it right now. You think multiverse help versus magi is a bit much? Eh. Depends on which parts of the multiverse you go through. Alright, and what's in the level 4 white magic? Poisona, Fear, Null Frost, and Vox. Hmm. All right. Oh. Okay. Uh, there we go. Now we can finally clear enemies out in one fell swoop. Come on, gold, pull through. Zappy, zappy, motherfuckers. All right, up. All right, gonna head up to uh, Cornelia. One big trick that I use in uh, any version of the original Final Fantasy is that whenever you can make a... When, whenever possible, make a rest stop in uh, Cornelia, Cornelia. Because they are the cheapest hotel you can use. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. I might want to stock up on some sleeping bags. And also some potions. And a few anecdotes. All right. Uh, now, if we go up this way... Uh, Thundara. Quick, we must summon Lionel. Oh wait, no, that's Thundaria. Is it? Actually, is it Thundara? There we go. You can tell I'm old by the jokes I make. Alright, up here we go. Toya's Cave. Let's see. Frontward, backwards, any way you see such a strange spell to swish swish a Sell as not a bee. Swish swish a -roo. B button select. Mihai! Mihai! Ow! Can't see a blast thing without me crystal eye! Who could have stolen it from me? Oi! What's that? Me crystal eye? Get it here! Come on, I'll give you something in exchange. Uh, here, take this potion. It's the most extraordinary potion in my entire collection, it is. Jolt Tonic. Ah, I can see. I can see again. You still here? I don't need you anymore, so be on your way. <laughs> You're uglier than I thought you'd be. Alright, we have an excuse. Burn the witch! <clears throat> I mean, what? Time to give the elf prince his morning coffee. Ooh, antidote, potion, and another potion. Sweet. All right. Boo. -boo. Speed up. Let's see. Do 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 Nice. For some wind, then some rain, then a fucking hurricane. We're all gonna die. Time to say goodbye. Holy crap, what the shit? I am 12 and what is this? We're all gonna die tonight. Uh, Dwayne and Brando. Careful with that song, you don't want to summon the rains. <laughs> I kinda do, it's been getting hot as hell. Although, it has cooled off a little lately. At least where I am. All right, chocolate pancakes and coffee. This jolt tonic may be just what we need to break the curse and awaken the prince. I'll try it at once. Your Highness? Your Highness! Yo, we brought this espresso. 
You owe me three ninety-five. I was having a terrible nightmare. Am I still dreaming? You, you're the legendary warriors. Something tells me I'm not dreaming. I shall do my duty as it has been told to me by my forefathers before me. The time for me to pass on the mystic key to its rightful owners has come at last. <laughs> 395 gil for a coffee? How outrageous. Yeah, maybe you need to pick a better coffee store. I am awake and strong again, all because of you. Thank you, Warriors of Light. Alright, uh, next one's 5.15pm, double espresso. If you haven't played Helltaker, you won't get that joke. By the way, play Helltaker on Steam. It's a free download, and it's just a fun short game. Short, sweet, to the point. Oh, actually, wait. Ah, I forgot something. Let's see. Now that I have the Mystic Key... Uh, there was something over here. <laughs> hashtag not sponsored. Yeah, I, I gotta remember to put hashtag not sponsored. Maybe I should make a Silver Koban emote to uh, be like, you know, Silver 225 sellout. Ooh, bronze gloves. All right, now... Uh, actually, can we get one of the level 4 spells now? Uh, uh just shy. I'm probably going to want to give haste to red. Uh, Thundara. Yada yada. There we go, that should be just enough. But yeah, if, if you go download Helltaker... To, <laughs> if you go download Helltaker from Steam, it's by Van Ripper. I found his, uh, I found their, um, DeviantArt account. And they got some really cool stuff. Never mind, I can't get it for, uh... I can't get it for red, apparently. Alright. <laughs> Someone tell Yamcha to come get his girlfriends, all these wolves. Well, you can't help but admit that Yamcha gets all the bitches. I'm not apologizing for that one. All right, uh... Now that we have the Mystic Key, we can go get the stuff from Castle Cornelia. The time has come to use the key to open the door. The equipment will most certainly help you. Uh, another saber, cottage, mithril knife, hold on, the treasure house has been bound by the mystic key, iron armor, tent, and we got the nitro powder, <laughs> two sabers, a certain anime protag will be jealous. 
You you haven't seen my Fate Grand Order roster. I have a bunch of sabers. I have Lancelot, I have Saber Altar, Suzuka Gozen, uh, Yagyu Munenori. Uh, what are the other sabers I have? I've got Siegfried. I've got Nero, I've got the Umu. Point is, I've got a bunch of sabers, but I need more! The saber is the class that I have the fewest servants in in my roster. That That's kind of my main thing. Do you have the saber lion, the king of beasts? Unfortunately, I do not. And have a fed at Lancer. No, I'm not feeding her Lancer. I do have what I call the full dog kennel, though. I have all the different versions of Kukulain. And I also have uh, Hessian Lobo, the fusion of uh, Lobo, the King of the Wolves, and the Hessian of Sleepy Hollow. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I have a bunch of doggos. Mm-hmm. Bork, bork. Getting a lot of money. We're well, Chris alive, even the blind can see. I hear that the Dark Elfastos took the one belonging to Matoya. Laddy ho! I have a blood brother Smith Smith in the Smithy he is. Our Smith Smith in the Smithy. Our Smithy Smith Smith. Uh, if only I could get me some of that legendary metal adamantite, I'd be able to make such a magical sword. That sound? Hey, it's Nerik. He's smushing rocks in the back of the cave. I, I get that these guys are supposed to be speaking in like a Scottish accent and I am butchering it terribly. Alright, if I remember... I go in here, that's where I get a bunch of treasure. Great helm, tent, worm killer, good for dragons, ether. Potion, Mithril Mail, 575 Gill, Cottage. Well, you see, a Scottish, a Scottish accent is a little similar to an English accent. I have been to Europe. I can denounce that so hard. <laughs> so there you go, laddie. That's a good starting point. Is that nitro powder? This lovely stuff will blow my canal open in no time at all. Ah, thank you, youngins. And there we go. Now we can smush this rock to way smithereens. What are you standing around for? The pearl is set to blow. Unless you plan on going with it, you best get off well as you can. One hole!
blow my canal open sounds like a euphemism. It kind of does. I kind of want to see what lies out there around the canal. I'm going to be posting this on YouTube later. For any of my Scottish viewers who are watching this, I apologize profusely for how badly I butchered the accent. But no, I can definitely denounce the comparison between um, a Scottish and an English accent because I have actually had a literature teacher who was Scottish. And she sounds nothing like the English. Like, she talk about Glasgow. Start from an English accent and work your way from there. I suppose. I mean, if that's your method, good on you. There we go, Buccaneers. Buccaneers. to the shop. Ooh, I can get a couple long swords. All right, let's sell. Do, 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 do. And we don't have a white maid, so we have no use for the mithril hammer. Actually, is there anything else we can buy? Nope. All right. Hmm. Uh. I don't think I'm high enough magic level anyway. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. So Haggins. As a DM, you need to be a woman of many voices, for I'll be playing characters of varying dialects. Fair enough. I just happen to have picked up accents because, you know, military brat. Alright, let's see if we can get some... stiff. Gonna want Blizzara. I guess red isn't a high enough magic level for that yet. Hmm. 
Mm, let's see. Do 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 do. Actually, I'm gonna. Go ahead and heal. Stock up on some items. Go ahead. Do, 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 do. To Melmond. I've got ten sleeping bags, so I should be fine. All right. So back here. What's is my name? I've gone all the way to, to Duilgar to find a spring out of the Earth's decay. I hope Melmond has some almonds. Uh, now that's just nuts. Lots of shadows. These enemies sure seem seedy. Ah, uh, uh, this way. Word wolf. Go, speed up. All right, uh, let's go ahead and oh. sleeping bag. <laughs> Three Shreks and a doggo. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think I'll go through the first portion of this dungeon and then we'll probably call it a stream. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully I get a chance to stream some, uh, Final Fantasy IV Job Fiesta. Let's get going. So, probably gonna go until uh, we beat the vampire. It's after six? Yeah! <laughs> I just noticed it myself, so. Uh, fire. We go. Earth Elemental. For whatever reason, uh, the Earth Elemental monsters are weak to fire, I believe. Yay, everybody's gaining a level.
All right. Uh. Speeding up. Oh, Blue's taking a beating. Um, let's have him use a potion on himself. And let's have Red use Cura. There we go. Okay, uh... Good thing about this dungeon is you get a lot of money. Alright, let's see. Yay, everybody's getting money. Everybody's getting levels. Antidote. 795 gil. Let's see. We're already almost at 10,000 uh, gold, so... Ooh, mummy. These are definitely weak to fire. I think the earth elementals are weak to fire to emulate the undead weakness to fighter. That does kind of make sense. Also, I think of plants as earth elemental. So, I think of it like you're burning trees or weeds. Any plant life, it's easily burnable. Ooh, gargoyles. Oh, silver's dead. And I don't have any, um... I don't have any Phoenix Downs. Great. Okay, uh, I'm gonna head out. Oh, this is very bad. Okay, this went south very quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. Oh, jeez. Uh, run. Okay, uh... Sleeping bag. And that only works for the one who's conscious. Great. Okay, um... Time to head back to Cornelia, then. Because Melmon doesn't have a clinic where I can revive the dead. Hey, if a few buccaneers could show up with a bunch of money, that would be nice. Eh, it's not buccaneers, but it is a bunch of money. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, really? Are you gonna do me like that game? Are you really going to do me like that game? Not when I'm so close to Cornelia. Blood Red's curse is coming back. Uh, I don't think I'm even going to get the chance to use the potion. Oh, thank you. Alright. How about this? God damn it! There! Screw you, game! Ugh. Well, that was annoying. The one time I didn't use Thundara, and he didn't paralyze me, but then any time I try to use uh, Thundara, it would paralyze me. That's just bullshit. All right. <clears throat> I think tomorrow I'm going to be, uh, let's see. Let's see, tomorrow I'm going to be starting on the, uh, four-job fiesta run, I believe. <clears throat> uh... 
Uh, let me check, now that I think about it. Let me check if Gilgabot has, uh, given me that first job yet. It does not look like it. Probably not going to happen until tomorrow when it, when the event starts. All right. Uh, in that case, uh, who shall we raid and what shall we raid with? Uh... Okay, uh... Who is still on? Oh wait, no, that's the dashboard thing. Shit. I don't want the dashboard, I just want the base Twitch page! Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see. Uh, Ray's on, 8 bit drummer's on. Uh, Lukajin's still on. Steven George is on. Rosentia's on, Z Royal Vikings on, Apex Arcade is on, uh, the Master LL is on. Uh, what do you guys think? Let's go ahead and raid Lugajin. Okay, um,. If we're raiding Steven, we can't use cannon boobs of steel. Lukajin it is, then. All right. So we're raiding Lukajin with cannon boobs of steel. Uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow for when I start the, um, for when I start the four job fiesta run. So that's gonna be fun. Let's go. Uh, raid, Luca Jins, and boop. Hope you don't mind the adult sense of humor, but hey, I mean, she's a blast to be around. So, I'm going to go ahead and raid, and I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Let's go!